Hey guys, this is Jaser, who is not good at algorithms. In this video, I'm going to take a look at the last problem I didn't solve uh, in the list of top Facebook questions, which is 65 value numbers. We need to validate if a given a string can be interpreted as a decimal number. Okay, for example, zero is true. There might be fraction part, uh, or it might be exponential uh, notation, and uh, yeah, sign. So yeah, this actually actually I don't think this is kind of like uh, a good algorithm problem. It's kind of like uh, yeah, understand the format to, to check whether you understand the a uh, format very well. Let's see. So actually, I didn't solve this by myself. I took a look at some of the solutions. Yeah. Um. So the basic idea is that uh, we first to see what kind of characters we are going to accept, right? The first one, 0 to 9 di digits, of course it's okay. And there might be dot, there might be minus, plus sign, minus sign, and E, right? All the other characters are not uh, uh, allowed, uh, except the space could be at the uh, head or at the rear, and they cannot put a space in the middle, right? Yeah, so I think we could just do a trim. The trim will just to take the uh, leading air space and the ending air space, and we can just uh, trim them from the from from, from both sides. It will not add the time complexity. We just re reduce the numbers, uh, reduce the characters we need to process. Okay, so we are only to allowed to have these kind of uh, characters. Uh, let's try to analyze the each uh, the rule of each uh, digit uh, uh, possible characters right so 0 to 9 and basically everywhere everywhere even 0 0 2 is allowed okay but here actually there is a slight difference about real case like uh, I, I must to point it out that for uh, to uh, for this uh, what I, I I have a case which is a uh, which is wait a minute. I've tried some cases uh, like this. Wait, well, what is it? Uh, oh, this, this, yeah. For, for like this, actually, in JavaScript, this is not allowed. But in our code, yeah, except it to be true, right? But it, it's invalid. Maybe because about uh, actually in JavaScript, it's this this is a uh, this interpreted as octal format, zero zero one, it's one. Like uh, this will be eight. So maybe this is a problem. So we need to clarify things. Okay, for dot, what's the rule is? Uh, must be only once, right? Must be only once. One. So it should be uh, max one. Okay, let's take a look at the sign first. For the sign, it must be at the beginning if there is, right? At index zero or right after e, right? There might be like this e uh, to the power of minus one. So dot the max uh, maximum one, and uh, e could not should not be after e, right? Should mm, can could then uh, okay must not be after e right dot could be at the beginning but it cannot be at the, the the end and of course the dot one is actually valid remember dot one it's valid okay it seems no more other uh, other rules now let's take that e of course there's at most it must be one e right and the another rule is that uh, uh, must 
have numbers before and after it, right? So the, for, the, the, the part before it, the part after it. So this is the rule for E. Well, actually, this is the odd rules, right? So now we're just going to loop through, and now we just loop through the each character. And uh, check if rules are broken. Right? Especially, especially for E, we have must have numbers before it and after it. If E exists, we need to check the, f the number, uh, how to say, before we meet, meet the E, we need to see if the numbers are there or not. When E exists, occurs, we need to check uh, if number ha after it has the number, right? If so, uh, I think we need to two flags here, like uh, let has number, which means currently at the specific index, do we have a valid number? Do we have a number? Uh, do we have any digits? used right and then okay I, I think I should, you should use half digits and then when E exists when E occurs we need to check if uh, is digits missing is a uh, digit missing after E of course at for the initial case uh, it's false right and then uh, for this for their sign we just check the index and the previous one, so it's okay. And for the dot, let has dot maximum one. So we has set to false as the initial data, and has e right false. Now let's traverse through. Let traverse through the string. Well, we first we have zero and uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, this is the digit. When we have a digit, we was set uh, has digits to true, right? And uh, and we should also set the ha is digits missing to uh, false. Why? Because if this digit is before e, of course e is not is not uh, there is no e yet, so it's false. So if it's after e, it was. It means we have a digit after e, so it's still it's not missing. So when you have this, we will set this flags to uh, true and false, and then we break right, and then we go to plus or minus, which is a sign. As we said, uh, we only check if it has index zero or right after e. All right. So if the index i is not at zero and the previous one s i minus one is not equal to e so it's it's not it's not okay right so we return false but this sign doesn't change change anything so we go to next one which is uh, dot as we said, dot, it must be maximum one. So if has dot or must not be after e. So if it's after e, which means has e, we return false, right? So it's not valid. And uh, in here, we set has dot to two. 
now the last one we met it what we met is e right so okay i forgot to break the uh the an the analysis would be maximum one so if has e turn false right uh, don't forget break and uh, set has e to true or must be have numbers before or after when we has an e there must be have some digits right if there's no digits then it means the case of e3 so we need to return false but after we see we we have an e what we, we need is we need to set is digit missing after e is true right it means okay we're, 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 we're allowing for a digit now next one should be a should be a digit there will be a no there should be digit after that there might be a sign a sign doesn't check it will be true and uh, we need a number or uh, we, we need a digit so and for all the other case which is default we return false so no other characters are now are not allowed return false and then yeah finally we return what we return first one we have digits and there is not is not digit missing after e right let's try to run the code seems working mm -hmm. minus one dot Oh, why are we returning false? We got sign, so zero. It's a uh, zero. Mm -hmm. So we do, do nothing. Ah, I forgot to break, man. Hmm, cool. We are accepted, and uh, yeah, let's try to analyze the time. Of course, it's linear time, right? We're looking through all digits, uh, the characters. Space, we use uh, several uh, flags for flags, so obviously it's constant. There's no improvement for this problem, I think. The only case maybe improved is that I could uh, change switching to if class to do the comparison here. Uh, let's try to see if this helps. Uh, okay, so the problem here, I'll say character equals si. Let me add if character bigger than zero and character smaller than nine, we will do set do this right. And then if plus plus mm, wait a minute. if character equals plus character equals minus yeah else if character equals start The other case is character equals e. And else return the beautiful full false. Yeah, this should also work. Maybe slide faster. Hmm, not not that much. Sometimes, so it's not that stable. Anyway, uh, the time complexity doesn't change, but we'll make the these nine case uh this this nine nine lines of code nine lines nine lines of code lines of code into this one if so it's much shorter uh okay so that's all for this problem hope it helps i'll see you next time bye bye